I got this cheap ass racing CDI. It's been a the long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. What's going on, guys? It's Cap Amira here, and we are doing another video of the Street Legal CRF 50. In today's episode, we are going to be putting on a performance racing ignition coil and a new spark plug because the old spark plug is, well, the original one. It's shot. I've read online that in order to use the uh, racing coil and the uh, performance uh, CDI, you need to have um, a new spark plug. So for reference, this is the C7HSA spark plug. Obviously, over here, this isn't on or anything, I have the TV parts CDI plugged right in. It's supposed to be plug and play, and I'm having trouble getting sparks, so that's what this episode is going to be about. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, hit the like button. Peace. What you saw me do there was I took the old coil off, right? And I'm gonna keep this because I have no idea whether or not this new one is gonna work. But I took the old coil off and I like to do this when I'm doing things to bikes in general, is I just replace one wire at a time so I know exactly where it came from so there's no way for me to put it in the wrong way. Now, in this case scenario, supposedly the coil is what do they call that? The indifferent or egg, I forget the word, but it doesn't matter which one of these wires you hook up to which thing. I just from experience like to hook up one wire at a time so that I don't screw it up. And that's, that could be a good tip for you guys when you're installing things as well. So now I'm going to put, take the old spark plug out and put the new one in and see if we can get this thing to start. Look at that shit. Talk about dirty as fuck. Oh, it's the same model, I think. So someone must have been fucking around with this thing before I got it. Well, just just look look at the difference in, in the plug there. Obviously, whoever had this bike before me put a new plug in, because uh, the stock one is supposed to be like a six or something like that. Slide in to the DMs. Oh god guys, here's a freaking moment of truth, right? That was pretty easy. That took a lot less time than I thought it was going to. Let's set up this angle here. Let's put some gas in the carburetor. See if we can get this baby to start. As you could just tell, I did not have luck with the install of the new spark plug and uh, new ignition coil. Now, that being said, I am pretty sure that the issue, the underlying issue, is that these fucking CDI units are bad. I've had two now so far. If I swap the old one out, if I put the old one in, it works. If I put the new one in, it doesn't work. So I've had two of these units both of which don't work. So I am not 100% sure what the hell is going on. And just to prove a point, I'm gonna put the old unit back in. There's nowhere else that these wires can go. They literally just, it's plug and play, right? So obviously the saga continues. I don't know. I think these units are defective. Um, I'm gonna send this video to T-Bolt and see what the hell the deal is. All right, guys, I'm back. And obviously it's another day. When we last left off, I couldn't get the TB parts. This is not it, this is the original one. 
the TV parts CDI to work with my bike. I don't know what it was. I talked to the manufacturer. They said they had to have this issue once before in the past. They said maybe both units could be defective. So they just refunded me both of my money. I wanted to say that T-Volt, right? T-Volt USA is where I got the parts. Um, they're the best. T-Volt USA is the best for pit bikes. Pit bikes, pit, uh, pit bike parts, anything pit bike related, you should go over to T-Bolt USA. This isn't a sponsored video. I've just bought a shit ton of parts from a shit ton of places and T-Bolt by far is the best place. No bullshit, no wait. They ships it out the same day that you order it and it's just, he's located in Pennsylvania and he does a great job, the guy Vince. And if you have a problem, he emails you right back. It's, it's great, especially when you're dealing with like Chinese manufacturers and shit like that for pit bike parts. He's the guy to go to. That being said, I put the stock CDI back onto the bike, right? And it starts up. So what I did do was I got this cheap ass racing CDI. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. I just dropped on the ground. <laughs> I swear I didn't do that to the other ones. <laughs> I got this cheap ass racing CDI from freaking Amazon. It was $8, right? And ultimately what it does, I think is it just takes out the rev limiter. I don't think it's going to do much, but I guess it's worth a shot. And I'm going to just videotape right now to see if I fail even more. Um, as you guys could tell, it snowed here again in New Jersey, so it's fucking cold. Maybe I'll ride this bike around in the snow if it starts up and runs. As you guys could tell, that goes in pretty simple. Key is in the on position. The gas is in the car, the choke is on. Kick start lever is down. Let's see if we can't get this thing to freaking start. Okay, so if you've been watching my woes of CDI, you'll know that this, the bike starting up, is great, great, great progress because the last two CDIs that I had, I plugged in the same exact way as this $7 one from Amazon and the bike wouldn't freaking start up. I'll put a link in the description to this CDI. I'll let you know what exactly happens when I ride this bike around. I'm gonna make a moto vlog right now. I guess just to show you guys the difference, I don't know what the difference is gonna be. This is gonna be new. I'm gonna put my jacket on and go ride around the block freeze my balls off and do a review about the CDI, the power coil, and the freaking new spark plug. So, um, yeah. All right, let's go.